Hey everybody, today is January 5th, 2016 and this is my second update to this year's grow. Today is going to be a very short update. All I wanted to show you is what I have sprouting and the different varieties that I'm growing. First I would like to show you the chocolate bootla that you saw in the last video where I feed hydroponic nutrients from the bottom. Both the trees were grown really well and I decided to cut one off, chop this one in half new shoots are already starting to form and this one I decided to leave it for a little bit just to, to see what it's gonna do but I did cut off a few leaves because I wanted the leaves to go through and get down to these little shoots here so they will start to grow and as you can see at the top they are starting to bud already there's some buds there so I will cut this off eventually but I'll just leave it here for now because I'm not in any hurry. And when I chopped this off, I didn't trash the top. What I actually did was graft it onto my other tree and there it is right there. It's been a few days now, it's making progress so it's it's looking alive. In the first few days it will, it will wilt a little bit but uh, it's starting to come back and that's what it looked like right now. In about two weeks I will remove that and it will be part of this crazy looking tree here. They have a bunch of other graphs with it. Alright so let's move on and let me show you what else I have going. So I have two chocolate bootlets and uh, this is the the Jamaican hot chocolate, the red variety. Nothing's there yet the Butch T. Tom's Reaper there. I separated it. it. It sprouted a week ago I think. So I separated there on its own and I'll give the other ones to a friend. And in the back there that is the Jamaican Scotch Bonnet. That's the yellow variety. One of my favorite. And this here we have I grow this every year. The Carolina Reaper. I just love the way it looks and it adds a lot of heat to my sauce so that's why I always grow them then I have here is a seven pod bubblegum I love this variety it's a very beautiful pod and the calyx has sort of like a bleeding red color it's it's just a very nice beautiful um, variety and these are just my crab claw vegetable Not, nothing to do with peppers this here is the white cabuyo I think that's what they call. These are very popular in the Philippines. Beautiful tree. Uh, it produces tons and tons of white pods and I think they turn red eventually. But this was given to me by King Dennis, um, a very great guy. He has a channel that where he does a lot of pepper review. He does taste tests. So I will link you to his channel. Go there and say hello and subscribe. Uh, he's a very nice guy. He's always willing to share his seeds with people that, are, that have passion in peppers. So he gave me a tons of cool varieties that I would be growing very soon. Here's a red Jamaican Scotch Bonnet. I have two of those. And my MOA Scotch Bonnet, one of my favorite plants from last year. This guy produced very beautiful yellow color pods. They're absolutely delicious. I grew this last year. Uh, outdoor a few of them they produce really well but the winter came and killed them and before I got rid of the plant I decided to clone it and there it is this is my clone and this one is producing like crazy let me show you some of the pods on that see back there very cool looking pods these are really hot for some reason it could be a cross or something but I really don't mind because it, it tastes awesome so these are two branches that I cut off of the tree and I propagate it and put that, those two branches into this hydro system and now it's becoming one tree combined but it's producing like crazy. There's pods everywhere and flowers and stuff. I'm doing a lot of work with this guy. I'm crossing it with some other stuff so I'll show you guys that in the future. Moving on. I have here the ahi pineapple given to me by Dave fantastic variety for a little heat good flavor very delicious peppers to make sauce or just to eat it raw and then I have Jay's Peach Ghost also one of my favorite Sugar Rush here's the one, the one I mentioned from Dave's channel I will link you to his channel as well and here is the 
Butch T CPR. I just got it a few days ago. Nothing's there yet, but these pots are also very beautiful. And as you as you can see, I grow pots because they taste good and they look good. Then this is the Trinidad Scorpion Cardi. I grew this last year. It was destroyed by mites, so I was not able to get any fruits from them. But this year, I'm going to make sure that this guy would do fine. And this is my white ghost, the one that I took off a graft. I grafted the white ghost onto this scotch bonnet here, and I took the fruit and grew that. I wanted to see if, if that does any difference, but uh, I don't know for sure. Another ahi pineapple. Basically, all I did was took one of those and put it into here. So a good thing to do with these peppers is when you see them around this size, split them. Don't wait until they get this big and split them because then the roots will all be tangled down there. It's difficult to remove and then it, you may potentially damage some of the roots. So when they're this size, move them out into their own container. Don't put two or three like me here. I'm just being lazy, but don't do this. Just take them out and put them down by themselves. Another thing that I'd like to show you, when the plants get this size, usually they will deplete the nutrients within the soil very fast, so they may not grow too well. What you should do is feed them three or four pebbles of this. So I see here, I put a one, two, three, four, five there. Don't put too much because you can you can give the plants nutrients burn. But if you put three or four of those into here, it'll help the plants grow very well. And as it gets larger, uh, around there, you can give it a little bit more. And that should be all you need to do for now. That's all for this video. Um, I hope I provided some information that is useful to you. I will be continuing this whole series like I did last year, but I will try to add more information on how I grow my stuff and what I feed it. Uh, I hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave it below. And please come join our Pepper community. It's a, one of the fastest growing community out there. It, the people are very active and tons of Tons of experts on there that would help guide you through the, the growth season. Anyway, thank you for watching.